Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I got some inspirational music for today's video. Pretty decent. I just learned that one now. So happy Wednesday. I'm Adam. This is Tales of Inspiration. And today's story, I just wanted to tell a little bit of uh, one of my uncle's stories. So he's my grandma's brother. He's one of the last great uncles that I have left. And I go visit him from time to time. And he loves to tell stories. And one of the stories that I really like a lot that he tells a few, uh, not a few times, but he's told me a few times, is uh, about when he was a little kid and growing up with my grandma and he had, I think, he had five, five sisters and he was the only boy and plus his two parents and he always told the story about when they grew up and how they all lived in the same house and it was only a one room house so he shared <laughs> he shared his one room or exa I don't know exactly how it was set up but he stayed with all his sisters in this house and they didn't have um, running water and all that back then so they had to use an outhouse and so when he said at night that sometimes it'd be really freezing that they had a bucket that they used to keep in the house so they didn't have to make the trip all the way to the outhouse when it was freezing cold out there and he just tells this story about growing up with them and he says about how it was it was one of his favorite times in his life because it sounds weird but they were all cramped in there and they were all stuck together but he said that was his favorite time because he was always with his family and he just he loved his family so much he loved all his sisters and he used to be doing chores and stuff for them they used he was the youngest of all of them so of course i'm sure they bossed him around a lot since he was the baby of the family and he tells these stories about how they just shared all this time together and when they used to travel and even I remember my grandma telling me stories too about when they would go places and the car, it didn't have enough space for all of them to sit inside the car. So a lot of the time when they would go driving around town or go to the store and stuff, the kids would sit on the wheel walls or wheel wells because they used to have the steps on the outside that were pretty big on those old cars. And they used to stand or stand on those and hold on to the car as they drove <laughs> and that's how they got around town and it's just funny to imagine how different things have changed since then because you wouldn't dare have your kids or anybody stand on the outside of the car while it was driving and yeah so he tells the story about them spending all this time together, being in this house, growing up with hardly any money. They all had to do their part and work and go to school and he never finished high school. Or no, he did finish high school, but a lot of them didn't finish high school. A lot of the girls, they dropped out in like ninth grade or something like that because they had to start working to make money to help out their families. And listening to these stories that he tells, He's having a big smile on his face, enjoying remembering those times. And I'm thinking, dang, that's, that's tough that they had it. They had it tough back then. And I was complaining about going to school and having homework. And I had my own room growing up. Well, 
halfway, when I turned like six or seven, I got my own room. Me and my brother used to share one when we were little, and then we moved into a bigger house. And so we got our own room, but there was six kids all sleeping together, and they had no privacy, no nothing, and I was just looking back thinking how I seem, I feel not guilty, but sort of guilty for how spoiled I was growing up and all the things that I had and just hearing his stories telling about the stuff they had when they grew up and I think about it and man it's changed a lot and it just even now today things have changed since I was a kid so even that big of a difference 15 years ago when I was younger it's changed a lot so I think it's good to hear these stories from older uh, relatives, family members, or whoever tells you these stories and just take them in and really look at it and see how lucky we are to have what we have and just the way that we grow up compared to a lot of people, how they used to grow up and that was kind of common back then for people to be like that when they grew up and I know st some people are still like that today but for the most part, a lot of people have it fairly easy compared to uh, what they had back then. So I just like hearing those stories and I like seeing my uncle smile on his face talking about my grandma and my aunties and I've never got to meet the great grandparents that were gone way before I was here, but uh, just to hear his stories talking about his dad and mom and all the stuff they used to do and their little travels and going back and forth to Mexico and just staying at different places because sometimes they had to move because of the jobs that his dad had and working in the coal mines. So I just wanted to share that a little bit and if you have an older relative or somebody that could tell you some stories about them growing up, I would recommend you sit and listen to it and maybe you'll have a different outlook if you're thinking that things aren't so great in your life and then you can see how tough they had it and then you could be like you know what it's not as bad as I thought so maybe I should uh, make the best of it and not be looking at it that way so the main thing is is to look at what you have and be happy with it and make the best of it I know those sayings are cliche but when the saying says when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. I mean, that seems like what they used to do is they didn't have the best of everything, but they made the best out of whatever they could. And he still looks back and remembers his childhood and has great memories of it and tells me the stories and I enjoy listening to him. So, yeah, just don't take things for granted. Appreciate everything and just try to enjoy what you got. and. No, I'll keep telling you stories, I'll keep finding them, and you guys can keep listening, so subscribe, like, share them, hopefully it gives you some inspiration, and I will see you guys next time, so take it easy.